Oh, hello. Uh, welcome back. It's been some time since I did part one of this uh, video, like literally the previous year, 2023. And this is the year of our Lord 2024. And I know that part two was gonna be about how to fix the problems of Gotham, but there's are still some uh, problems that I would like to address and I really wanted to do a video about it or else it will annoy me forever my bi-monthly video I make videos like every two months well uh, before I rant uh, so on about my upload schedule let's uh, jump right into it so oh, why the uh, city of Gotham is trash well the main reason Believe it or not, and I know this is gonna be shocking, is Batman. Some of you are saying, yeah, no shit, Sherlock, while uh, the others are confused. Well, I will explain. All DC superheroes are known for not killing their victims, but no one is more famous than Batman. Why? Uh, because he, he should... <laughs> He should uh, kill the villains. He should uh, he should take a page out of the Punisher's textbook. Why spend so much uh, time and resources trying to capture a killer crown only for him to to escape again and keep on killing? Wouldn't it be easier just to kill the Joker and have only his blood on your hands instead of the blood of all the innocent people that he get killed on his uh, jungler murder spree? If you kill a killer, then the number of killers will, will be the same type of mentality. My ass. Even Superman would agree that, that killing the Joker is justice. Hell, Blood even did, they get it once and Bats got into a big hissy fit that, that lasted two games. And the Joker is 50% of the reason of why Gotham and citizens lives are misery. Batman sh should retire then give the mantle to Red Hood, at least his methods work. Another reason why, why uh, Batman is the reason for the downfall is because is so what working space hygiene is what is gonna be the death of this city. With the comics, for the most part, the bad cave is blood, a cave. But this cave, it has bats, and bats are pests. And I don't mean to do this on uh, bats as much as I this on uh, pigeons. Now, these flying rodents have been known to, to carry all sorts of the de diseases and viruses. Uh, one of them may be familiar to you. Well, if a Batman is working on night with all these pets, that they might be, be carrying their diseases to Batman and Batman carries them out to, to the residents of Gotham. Unless he bred them specifically to make the bad cave look, look cool. Kinda like what Steven Spielberg did with the rats for the last crusade. Uh, back on the topic. How do we know that it wasn't Batman who started the good old Rona in the first place? Being part of the Bat family includes being up to date with your reggae re uh, vaccines, am I right? Oh, and I didn't mention that bats are so subtle that uh, you have no idea if for one even bit you or not. So Brucey boy might have gotten bit tens of times without them even knowing about it, so... So he carry, so he might have carried all sorts of uh, the diseases to to the citizens of Gotham and the bad guys. Even though carrying it to the bad guys isn't such a big deal, but to the innocents of Gotham. Now the third reason is uh, not that you so much as your kids. Now if you have an athletic kid on Gotham. There's only two possibilities. One, he's going to go get a scholarship 
Praying for Gotham Yoga University. Or th thankfully, a university in Central City or a metropolis. Or that guy. Or that he's going to get recruited to be the next Robin. And do you really want your kid to grow up around a man with deep psychological issues? Who would rather dress uh, funny and risk his life by, by a guy fighting crime instead of going to therapy? Okay, okay, that's honestly your man. We would all rather fight crime and dress uh, funny than go to therapy. Or do you want him to go be a doctor or have a high paying job or become an athlete someday? Well, you you decide, parent. Fourth and the final reason is, take a look at this picture. Here, what it says is, he could literally lift the collar above his head. What's the point? God, Gotham is fucking useless. This is why the fucking clown gets out every weekend and kills a kid. So yeah, the police, uh, yeah, the police is uh, partly to blame, so... Dear citizens of the fictional city of uh, Gotham, this is what your uh, your money for taxes is going to. It's fucking useless. So yes, earlier in the video, I did say that uh, Batman is uh, the problem with uh, Gotham City and why it's so dangerous. I mean, Batman has created most of his uh, villains, uh, I think, but, but maybe me he became the Batman because the, the uh, GCPD itself was a problem because it's filled with, because it's filled with a useless, co uh, with a useless corrupt dog officers that got spent at the residences. The residents tax uh, paying money on the uh, useless uh, crap instead of in uh, decent uh, prisons and jails to keep the criminals off the streets and now they have to pay for their lives because uh, their money wasn't spent like how it was meant to be spent. Okay, that the streamer said it best in this clip below, but instead of complaining about the prisons in Gotham and how shit they are, he vents about roads and the government, but it's basically the same thing, so this is how a Gotham citizen would vent about how things are built there. The worst part about roads is that the government uses that to like f***ing make you feel bad about like hating them. Like you're like, oh the government f***ing sucks f***ing nuts dude. And then they're like, but we built your f***ing roads. Yeah dude. You mean the roads that have to be rebuilt every five years? Cause you just give the f***ing contracts to your mafioso f***ing friends that do sh jobs? Just so that you can repay them again in five years? Those f***ing roads? Go f*** yourself dog sh Read government in game? I'm just a man that's had enough, I'm gonna be honest. I pay taxes for what? For a f***ing bunch of bureaucrats who just give cash handouts to their friends? F***ing each sh How does that sound? Well, uh, these are... These are the, the, the additional reasons that I could think of for not living in Gotham. And I know that this was a uh, brief, but it's because the good stuff has already been said in the first part. And it's a bit too long, if I do say so myself. Well, anyway, thank you for watching this to the end. I really appreciate it as much as uh, Bruce appreciates his stick. Okay, uh, that, that was it for me. It is now 2.48 a.m. as I'm uh, finishing this paragraph. Part 3 should come uh, sometime in the future. Well, uh, for now, uh, this is all uh, you get. Now I'm uh, working on some big stuff, but for now, yeah, this is about it. Well, see ya.